Brady, what are some of your favorites? What are you running over there? Oh, man. So I, got, I brought four brutes in here that I pretty much run throughout the year. You know, like some of my scouting, I kind of just like to go light and fast. So I will sacrifice a little bit because I'm not carrying as much gear yeah. in the summer scouting. It's a little bit hotter. Just optics. So again, I want something that can breathe, even though this is a GTX, but I do love the Salevo Wildfire GTX mid. Again, I wear this antelope hunting. I wish that fit my foot. Yeah. It is a little, lose, a little tight getting on. I lose blood like flow. Built-in built in gator type thing at the top, yeah. so it's kind of a little awkward to slip into. But this, I got a chonky this upper, really works well upper for me. Leg, or lower <laughs> leg, upper foot, yep. and that, I lose blood flow. But man, I love those boots. I wish yeah. I could wear them. I really do, but I just I can't get the circulation. And I've worn this on quite a few muzzleloader deer hunts as well. It's like a, yeah. to me, I can I can backpack in it, but it's just gonna be light and fast. And then like another one of my like lighter weight favorites is the uh, I'm gonna break. What am I blanking on the name right now? Oh, uh, Hanwag. Uh, I feel like it's some kind of bird. I'll come back to it. Yeah. Keep going. I, I'm, just, I'm just totally blanking on the name. I can't remember why, but. Tatra. Ta Tatra light. That's it. Yeah. Tatra I, I have the Not a bird. Well, right Let's here. be clear. <laughs> Retract yep. that. Sounds like a bird. Yeah. Ta Tatra light. Uh, this is like a go-to bear hunting boot for me. Mm -hmm. It's that like hybrid. You know, it's not super, super flexible, but it's enough to get me by. What flex is that one? Uh, I believe this is a two, two or three. Yeah. Two. Yeah. Two. And, and I just like Hanwag boots. They fit me really well, like we we're saying before. I can, I can feel like I can put that on and still just, you know, I don't think, like I said, it's going to contradict what I said before, but I don't need, feel like this needs as much break in as another type of boot. My pinky toes get pinched in the Hanwags. Mm. That's my, that's my yeah, issue. They have, an, they have a narrower toe box. Yeah. And then like for a lot of the mule deer hunts, I did some other like high alpine, like muzzleloader stuff or even, you know, spring bear again. And then scouting if I'm going to carry some heavier optics like my BTX 115 and I'm going to you know make it a longer scouting trip then I switch over to the uh, Alverstone 2s from Hanwag. Alverstones are nice. I would say that's one of our best selling boots in the gear shop. Alverstone? <laughs> yeah the yeah, Alverstone nice 2. Boot. Yeah everybody seems to really like it. Um, why do you like it? All around the same thing. I feel like I can I have enough flex I can feel when I'm walking around uh -huh. I don't you know I don't ever believe we may begin this discussion later I don't believe in uh you know, you need a ton of ankle support, and it still does have nice flex side to side because it's yeah. You know, the, the upper in that gives. is synthetic. The lower is yeah. leather, and the upper on that, even though it's tall, it's not super stiff mm -hmm. in the upper. I feel like again, it fits my foot really well because I do have a skinnier foot, and I'm not like the Hobbit foot over here, Lorenzo. <laughs> Like, <laughs> I, let's be clear. It's not an actual hobby foot. Actual hobby. <laughs> it is just, it's not hairy, hairy, and, hairy and stubby. <laughs> I actually have a giant, I wish my Bilbo height, Baggins. I wish I, my hat. <laughs> again, anytime I can talk about Lord of the Rings on the podcast, yeah, you, you guys know I'm going to toss yeah. it in there. I so. wish my height matched my foot size, yeah. but it, I definitely do not. But like in terms of a boot that I could do a lot of different hunts, I feel like the Alverstone just fits that mold of yeah. what I'm kind of looking for. You know what they say about Big Feet though? No. Big socks. <laughs> Big socks. Yeah. And then, then we Cody, get, what did we say? <laughs> uh. <laughs> but, th but then, uh. again, when I get into my bread and butter, these late season mule deer hunts that I just love and crave, I'm going completely leather boot. And you like you like the Kenetrek? I, I, the Kenetrek, this is the first year I've used a Kenetrek. Oh, really? Yeah, first year. Holy mackerel. And, and yeah. Like it's, that is actually kind of wild. That's I know. Amazing. It's like the classic. Because they were like that, the first They the were game. staple yeah. of Western. Like yeah. 20, what, five years ago yeah, or something yeah. like that? That's what people had was Yeah, so I've, I've used a swath of different, you know, leather boots. And, and I do like some more insulation because I've gone on some hunts back in the day. You guys probably know what I'm talking about, that below zero hunt. Yep. Where I thought like, yeah, you know, I hike all the time. I don't really need insulated boots because I'll just stay warm and hiking. But like that hunt... Because the storm just was crazy, mm -hmm. and my feet were numb the whole entire time having a non-insulated well, boot. you work, your feet's wet. Yep, you sit exactly. to glass, and you got snow covering your entire... Down booties. That's that, that's that mean, balancing point. Down booties. That's, that's that balancing mean. point, though. Like, if you're going to do one of these hunts, if like, well, I, I just want one boot. I want to get a boot that has, like, 400 grams or 1,000 grams. I'm going to wear that in September, roll that into October, wear it in November. If you wear a heavy insulated boot, those early seasons, your feet's going to sweat more. Oh, yeah. So if it is a little bit colder and your feet's sweating and you don't need that insulation, you stop in glass, again, you're going to want to put those booties on them because your feet are just going to be sweating. Wet. So your feet are going to be cold. Yeah. It's not, be not good. But like a late season hunt, I'm going to lean towards more insulation. So I always like that 400 to 1,000. Yeah. And so I got these 1,000 grams this year be mainly because of the hunt in the Tajikistan. Mm-hmm. And so that's why I, I used them all in the mule deer hunts in that, I guess, well, I should say, what, an elk hunt, right? Because it, well, it, it mean, was an elk hunt. Your the mule one? deer sabbatical I mean, you did with shoot no an mule elk. deer. I did shoot an elk, yeah. Let's just be clear. It was a mule deer sabbatical with no mule deer. With no mule deer. But I know that's, that's what we'll call it. With, with an elk. So yeah, everyone's an elk. clear in, about in this. Yeah, so I was, I was wearing that, that same boot all year just to break it in for Tajikistan. And I've, I've grown to love that boot. You liked o it. Honestly, I love 
exa- everything gotcha. about that boot. Yeah, you know, I killed. I killed after I switched from. How much break-in know, time did you put into that boot? Did you wear it quite a bit? I, I wore it quite a bit. Yeah, because it it is a Flex Four, it's, which surprised me. I think it could be probably a three and a half. Because mm. I, I feel like it's a little more flex, but it's, I don't know. It, it's a little. I, I'd say it's a, a it's decent a solid, four. It's solid stiff, four. It's stiffer than your Alverstone. Oh yeah, by far. So yeah. your Alverstone, I would say it's like a three. Mm-hmm. So I would put the kind of track at a four. Um, yeah, my, my very first pair of Kenetrex was probably one of the best boots I ever owned, but it's yeah. been, like I said, 25 yeah. years ago. I wore those things completely through the sole to the point where the toe, you could see through all it. the way through to, That's my, a full to, wear. My, to my sock. And I love that boot ever since then, and I don't know if they've changed something, but that boot will eat my heel alive. Really? Yeah. I remember you saying that. I have a lot of experience with Kenetrex. Yeah. That's what I started all my Western hunts in. I wanted to buy, I've bought three pairs since, and I just can't seem to get this exact uh-huh. same fit that I had with that original pair. But there are a ton of people that love that boot. Yeah, and I just love it too because it ends up breaking, like molds to my foot, it feels like. Mm-hmm. And it's tall. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a, 10 inch, yeah. 11 inch maybe. It's tall. So, so like I love how now all the lace areas are just molded in that leather. Yeah. yeah. Like tighten it all every time. It'll hit it's, like, its, it's, it's creases. Perfect. But in. I will mention too that since I do have a skinny ankle and I feel like I have a skinny shin area, <laughs> I'm always tightening these boots to the point where they are, the laces are touching on every single yeah, one of my boots, no I've matter what it. boot I do. Yeah. <laughs> so I have the exact opposite. That issue. also maybe could mean why some <laughs> I have no boots. lace left to tie. Yeah. And, and your are leathers are touching be. both sides. Yeah. The eyes are always just touching on the yeah. boot when I'm tightening them up. But I just love a, a, a leather boot and what yeah. I can break it into. That, the sheep one I was talking about with my dad, fresh out of the box, was that Kinetrek. Yeah. The, the Mountain Extreme, non, non insulated, but um, my dad asked me if I wanted to go on a sheep hunt. This is way, this is pre go hunt. And, uh, I'm like, hell yeah, I'll, I'll go. Mm-hmm. And, um, so I w- tried to get all my gear together. It was like three day notice. I was just going to watch him and cause he didn't want to go alone, which I've shit. I'll go be a spectator sure, on a sheep, sheep hunt all day uh-huh. long. Um, but we went up there and my boots weren't fitting. So I actually had to stop in Canada in a sports store in Canada and they had Kinetrex and that's what I took off the shelf out of the box brand new on a sheep hunt and I was totally fine. Hmm. Um, but I was, I was wearing that. That was a boot that shrunk on me to yeah. begin with was the, the same boot. So, you know, I, I knew my foot liked it, but there was zero break in straight out of the bar. I'm not the best. I, I just don't struggle with those hot spots, So I'm not the best yeah. person mm-hmm. on that. That's a, I mean, that is a pro and a con of a leather boot is that it will, it will stretch some. So like kind of mold your foot over time, but also, yeah. You get that thing really wet and you put it in direct sunlight, it's going to shrink up. Or you know, a garage you, in, or in a garage Vegas, in Vegas where it's 120 yeah, degrees. And that's also... And I just was not paying attention. Yeah. I mean, shit, it was my own fault, like I said. 